Hello my friends and welcome to the start of a brand new year. Almost. We're getting straight into the voiceover today because I don't have enough time to make myself camera ready, sorry. So with the start of a new year, of course, comes the brand new yearly setup in our journals. I'm still using my notebook therapy Suki journal as I'm only about halfway through it. I love the satisfaction of starting a new year with a new journal, but I was not about to waste half of a notebook for that reason. I'm hoping that I can get six months out of this second half though, so we'll see. Anyway, the little theme I have going on throughout this setup is ocean waves and water. The quote I'm starting the year off with is, you are not a drop in the ocean, you are the entire ocean in a drop. So I wrote that part out, then flipped to the next page. I'm going to be cutting out the 2022 portion, so I left that for later. This yearly setup immediately started out with a lot of learning and experimentation. I don't really know how to paint, but I really wanted to make a water theme here, so I had to learn. My first few attempts were rough, of course. I didn't understand how to blend paint, and I hated working with the watercolor paper. By the time I felt more comfortable with paint, I just decided to paint directly into my journal. I had done a few tests on a smaller scale in the back of my notebook, so I thought this would be alright. And of course, the water warped the page a lot, so now it's all wobbly and crinkly. Not my best idea. I ended up making a new painting later on and covering this one up, so you'll see that in a bit. Once I cutted the 2022 portion out of the page, I decided to add a backing with found paper to give a window effect and help keep the numbers flat. Okay, so this whole edition was not my favorite and I'm definitely going to redo it on another page. I decided to go with abundance for my word of the year. I chose this word because I often suffer from comparing my journey with others. I get stuck in the mindset that I won't be able to succeed and thrive because other people have already done what I want to do. But I know logically that there's an abundance of success to be had by everyone. There's an abundance of opportunity for me to stand out in a different way, to make myself seen and successful and happy. I have an abundance of people who love and support me. So we are stepping into 2022 with a mindset of abundance rather than lack. Anyway, we're already onto the future log and now I need to catch up a bit. We'll be going back to that cover page later to fix it up. So like I said, I'm hoping that this journal will last me 6 months, so the future log only contains the first 6 months of the year. In the middle, I decided to paint another little water piece. And while I was happier with this one, I still wasn't satisfied, so I ended up making a new piece to glue on top of that one too. This style, however, is one that I enjoyed painting a lot more, so it became the staple for the entire setup. I learned it from a tutorial here on YouTube, and I'll link that down below in the description if you'd like to try it out. It's a bit more time consuming and repetitive, but once I got the hang of it, I loved it. In the corner, you can see that I eventually switched to painting on proper watercolor paper, and holy moly, can you ever tell the difference? The colors are so much more bright and vibrant, and once I understood how to control my water use, I actually liked this paper way more. So I ended up painting everything on this paper instead, and covered up those last two pictures with the new ones. Also, oh my god guys, I am so sorry about the moving camera again. I swear I am such a novice at this stuff, and apparently I have no self-awareness with what I'm doing with my body while I work. I either hit the ring light with my head, kick the tripod, or shake the desk while I paint. I don't know what I'm doing and I need to get a better system apparently. Alright, so like I said, I made the much better decision to switch to watercolor paper, so things started going much better from here. Alrighty, you can see how much better everything blends. 
Otherwise, the process pretty much stays the same. I start with a darker blue-green at the top, and then gradually add more green and water as I get lower on the painting. You basically want a gradient from dark blue to light green, then fading to a sandy tan color at the shoreline. Once that layer is done, I basically repeat the blob drawing process, but this time overlapping the initial blobs. It's like drawing mini blobs inside of big blobs. This is to give the water a more reflective appearance and more depth. Alright, so once I got to the bottom, I basically just drew in some wavy lines with white Copic ink. I have zero idea what I'm doing here, just adding some thickness and dots to the lines in hopes that it would look like sea foam. I then took that same ink and splattered some dots over everything for a sparkle and splash kind of look, if that makes sense. Then back to the actual page that this painting is going on, the goals page. I separated it into four categories, Etsy, YouTube, Health, and Instagram. And honestly, I don't even have any Instagram goals at the moment, and I may end up changing that one. Then cut out the painting, put double-sided tape on the back and stuck it in. And I was immediately so much happier with this look, which is why I end up redoing the first two pages. Okay, so this next spread is a when did I last page. I again only put the first six months of the year down and made a little legend for each task. I have a dot for toothbrush change, cleaning sheets, cleaning makeup brushes, watering plants, vacuuming, dusting, cleaning the fridge, and taking a social media break. I know some of these are more of a weekly thing, but I'm forgetful so this is helpful. The next 
page is dedicated to my own wish list, basically. Things I want and things I need. I already had some things for this list off the top of my head, so I wrote those in while I was here. This page is going to be a media page split into four categories. Books, movies, games, and shows. I actually barely read anything in the second half of 2021, so I want to bring that back up in 2022. My husband and I watch lots of movies, but I also tend to forget them, so this will help me remember them. I may also add a little rating system to each item on the page in case I forget if it was any good. So here, as I mentioned, I decided to cover up the painting with a better one on the watercolor paper. It immediately looked better and matched the opposite page perfectly. This page will be for gift ideas for my family. I tried to start thinking of gifts earlier in the year. I listen a lot to what people say in conversation. If they mention something that they want to get for themselves in the future, I write it down as a gift idea. If they buy it before Christmas, then I just cross it off, but ideally they've mentioned plenty of things over the years, so I have lots of options. This last page is one that's new for me, and it's one I got from Jessie Korn here on YouTube. I will also link her channel down below if you want to check her out. She has so many useful ideas to add to your setups. This one in particular is 22 22s in 2022. The idea is that you have 22 things that you want to do 22 times in the year 2022. Not gonna lie, this one took me some time to come up with 22 different things, but I managed. And that's it guys! Here is the final flip through of my 2022 setup. Stay tuned for January setup, hopefully coming next week. It's such a huge change of artwork for me, but I'm excited about it. So here's to a fantastic 2022 full of growth and learning and new things. See you soon!